Shook it up. Good morning and welcome to Friday. It is Friday, it is the 6th of July, and it is another beautifully sunny day here in the UK. I don't know where we're getting this weather from, but it's amazing and we're making the most of it by walking the dogs twice a day, getting out in it as much as possible, out away from the laptops. But today, as always, I'm starting my day with one of my collagen coffees and the last, the last one of my red velvet. So I'll have to make fresh protein muffins for the morning. Um, don't know which ones I'll make. Maybe my carrot cake ones, I haven't made them in a while. And I also made these yesterday for Lex, because if you watched my previous video, go and watch it now, after this, watch this and then watch it if you haven't watched it. Um, my previous video, I talked about how Lex has changed up his diet. He's going for a more high fat diet. And as a result, I had to change up what I was making for him, the groceries we get in, all that kind of stuff. And it's also kind of pushed me to create new recipes that are higher in fat because a lot of my recipes are very low in fat so if you are ketogenic or you're following a higher fat diet um, you can try some of my new recipes that are higher in fat I will I'm going to add them all to my recipe channel some of them are just really quick and easy there's no talking involved it's literally just two or three ingredients and it'll take you like five minutes these were super fast to make can you see them you can't smell them it'll just send Roxy mad because you can smell the peanut butter. So they're like peanut butter cocoa balls and they're coated in just some crushed peanuts and there's plenty of fat in them, protein and a, they are low carb as well. So perfect for Lex for a nice little treat for him. Because I'm trying to like still create nice recipes that we can enjoy. And even me, if I've got fats left over the other day, I can still enjoy one of them. Well, they're 14 grams of fat, so maybe not. Um, right now, I could not do the high fat diet because as you know, I am prepping for my competition. I'm sitting at 119 pounds. I've gone down to 118.6, but I am due my period. And when my period comes around once a month, sorry guys, um, once that happens, my weight does tend to go up a pound or two. So I'm hoping that once it's passed, that my weight will actually drop significantly. So I might drop two pounds because right now it's just stayed at the same level as it was at last week. So it's I like to track my weight around my period. My coach Harry has said that I don't have to track my weight around this time if it upsets me, but it doesn't upset me because I know there's something going on in my body. I'm retaining water. I feel quite bloated around my tummy. My boobs are sore, you know, the usual. And um, yesterday I just felt really hot and sweaty and gross. So I was like, it's coming, winter is coming. As as a result I like to keep track of my weight around this time because then it lets me know what's going on in my body and then I I don't get upset but why would you get upset when you step on the scales and you know there's something going on in your body and you know there's something causing the waking like I know I'm working really hard I'm doing my cardio I'm doing my steps every day and there's no reason for me to be upset at myself for not losing weight because I know I'm doing the work so I'm just gonna get on with breakfast. I do have a call with my Gymshark athlete manager, George. George is awesome and he's fun and he really looks after me within Gymshark. And obviously we have the Gymshark pop-up shop in less than two weeks now. Oh, it's two weeks, two weeks tomorrow. I'm going to Dublin in less than two weeks because we get in a bit early. And just prepping for that, it's good that I've started dieting because I feel like now I'll have lost a couple of pounds going to the pop-up shop and I'll feel a little bit more sassy than I have the last couple of weeks. As always, I have dried my fringe and not dried the back of my hair yet because number one, I'm super lazy and number two, Lex is asleep in bed and I don't want to wake him with the hairdryer. Makeup is on. If you would like to see a daytime makeup tutorial from me, I am not a makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination, but I do enjoy doing makeup and I always have since I was about 16. Um, I've always enjoyed wearing makeup. This is probably because I went to a convent school with nuns where you weren't allowed to wear makeup, so that pushed me to want to experiment with makeup and wear makeup as subtly as possible so that I could get away with wearing makeup in school. If you would like to see a makeup tutorial from me, a daytime makeup, and I would also like to do closer to my competition day, I want to show you how I do my competition day makeup because a lot of people pay to get makeup done, but I save the pennies and do it myself because I am quite good at doing the dramatic look. So if you want to see that, comment down below. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go and have my coffee, muffin, my vitamins, and I'm gonna walk these doggies. So I walk the dogs, I've had my call with George and exciting things are happening. I'm going to have a dedicated place on the Gymshark blog 
for my recipes. I'll be creating amazing recipes that you already see here and they will be going up on the Gymshark blog. Check it out. There's loads of information there provided by all the different athletes and mine will be cooking related because that's what you're here for, isn't it? All the food. Roxy is noisily eating in the background. But right now I'm going to make breakfast. I've just done my cardio. I did 120 calories on my stepper and I'm using my Apple Watch to track my calories rather than time because as my coach Harry pointed out, as I progress through my diet, my energy expenditure when I do cardio will reduce. So there's no point in calculating via time because it'll probably take me longer to burn a certain amount of calories. So we are going via calories. So per week right now, I am going to be burning 600 dedicated cardio calories. And that is not including the 10,000 steps I would get in throughout the day via walking the dogs and just generally walking around the gym, walking around the house, all that kind of jazz. So right now for breakfast, I am going to have some smoked salmon. I keep it in a Ziploc bag because it stinks out the fridge otherwise. I've got some egg whites from Muscle Food as usual, some of the grated eat lean cheese, which I like to add to my egg whites to make them delicious. And then because I'm having some smoked salmon, I like to add in some capers to my egg whites. And then I'm just gonna have it all on uh, Warburton's Protein Thin. I just toast it, I keep them in the freezer, keep them fresh. And some of the lightest Philadelphia. And that's gonna be breakfast and I'll have a coffee. And then I'm probably gonna do some abs at home because as I've said in previous videos, I am currently doing a 30 day ab challenge. I am gonna train them every day, see what difference it makes. Right now, I'm kind of bloated. Oh, not too bad. Uh, because I've got my period and obviously around that time, you are not gonna have really great abs unless you have crazy good abs anyway. I I'm just training them every day, see how they look after 30 days, see if it makes a difference. My fringe is kind of sweaty, so it's a bit disheveled. And get on with breakfast. So here we have it, the scrambled egg with smoked salmon. We have the capers, some cracked black pepper, all on a Warburton's thin with a little spread of Philly. Delicious, fit my macros. So I've just finished my at-home ab session and I'm just gonna edit a recipe for my Instagram and my IGTV for today and then I'm gonna hit the gym but it'll probably take me about an hour or so so I'll probably get a coffee in maybe a protein bar while I'm doing this today is back and bicep day so I'll record that and then you get to enjoy that little workout afternoon coffee break I'm having a milky coffee and one of the salted caramel diet whey bars from PHC I love these and they are only six grams of fat pre-workout snack of choice and look at them they're like little crunchy bits of goodness mm. so I've just arrived at the gym to do my back and bicep session I normally do five sets of 12 as you know I'm a high volume girl but today I think I'm just gonna do three sets make them a bit heavier just to get through my workout a bit quicker I've left the dogs inside and I'm just a bit wary of them being cooped up in this warm weather so I just want to get home to them as quickly as possible because Lex is in Manchester we'll get through the workout get home and then walk the doggies again. They love their walks, and so do I. I'm getting all my steps in. Oh 
workout complete i'm gonna go home to the doggies i wore shorts to the gym and i have been wearing shorts to the gym for the past week or two because it's really warm it's like 28 degrees and if i wear leggings i've been getting like heat spots on my legs so the only way to overcome this is to wear shorts and let the air at them and my let my skin has cleared up but today i wore the tighter dreamy shorts from gymshark and i was just I was just really sorry that's just my water bottle um I was really self-conscious because I do have a lot of cellulite on the back of my legs I'm hoping to reduce that as I lose fat and as I lose weight over the coming weeks but I was self-conscious and then halfway through my workout I was like no one else is bothered by my cellulite only me not one person in the gym was looking at my cellulite not one person was being affected by it only me so why did i care and you know what i just got on with my workout and enjoyed it and stopped being self-conscious because most of the things that you perceive as flaws no one else notices until you point it out to them so if you are body confident and body confident is not about loving yourself it's about being comfortable in your body regardless of what it looks like or the shape or the size of it it's not about being arrogant and it's not about being cocky it's about being confident in yourself and your shape and size and not being self-conscious and I kind of have to teach myself these ways because I'm always preaching to you guys about it and then I go in and I feel self-conscious and it is hard to overcome when there's some part of your body that you have always had a hang up on but maybe it's like your belly maybe it's your arms something like that you don't want to wear like short sleeve tops I don't know everyone has something that they are self-conscious about and I think we just have to accept the fact that not all of us have these perfect flawless bodies and sometimes imperfections just add to your, you know, tapestry. Anyway, moral of the story is you can wear shorts to the gym if you've got cellulite and you can wear a crop top if you've got a bit of fat in your belly. There's nothing wrong with it. And I am getting increasingly more sweaty as I sit in this car. It's so warm and like even the lightest workout. I know I went through that. It was like I trained heavier than I normally do and um, yeah I just I'm sweating it was literally dripping off my chin and I'm like I have to be losing weight I have to I have to be I'm going to be shredded in like a couple of weeks if this continues it's like training in a sauna so home to the dogs feed them bring them for a walk get dinner ready I'm just doing some barbecue chicken it's barbecue weather From guys the gym to these two gorgeous ladies Roxy and a Bailey. I'm going to make myself my own little concoction, which is a protein iced coffee. So it's kind of like a frappuccino. So all you will need is some chocolate protein powder. I'm going to use this PhD one that I got from Holland and Barrett and it was on sale. It was only 15 quid. I'm going to use some of this chocolate Cliffia Farms. I'm only going to use 30 ml because I'm really going to use more water than just uh, a gourmetso capsule for the Nespresso machine, some ice. First, you put some of your protein powder in. I'm probably just going to use about 20 grams. Then add in your coffee from the machine. Then add this in, then blitz it in this and you have yourself a protein frappuccino. Obviously, you don't want to waste any, so. Mm. If you want a thicker consistency, just add less liquid. Mm -hmm. mm. Coffee good, protein good, chocolate good. That's the real one. And it's pretty. Post workout mocha frappuccino goodness. And then I need to shower because lucky this isn't smell of vision because I stink. I absolutely waft right now so i'm going to drink this eat the dogs have a shower bring them for a walk 
maybe do a physique update since I am now 14 weeks and one day out. So I'm all freshly showered. I've even straightened my hair for you guys. And it is 6.45, yeah. Where has the day gone? So I'm gonna do a quick physique update for you guys. I am 14 weeks out and I'd like to stress my body is not perfect. I do not have in any way the perfect physique. I have cellulite, I have stretch marks, I have unwanted fat, my arms are not completely toned and that's okay. So before you comment saying I need to work on this or I need to work on that, maybe just don't, just don't. I don't, I don't need your input in that way. I know what I need to work on. So without further ado, here's my physique update. dinner time and the sweet potatoes take about five years to cook so they're still in the oven even though the chicken is ready and the veggies are ready so I'm just going to show you quickly what we're having while we're still waiting on the sweet potatoes. For Lex I've made him a rocket with goat's cheese, pine nuts and some light balsamic dressing and then we've got some barbecue chicken that I just did on the barbecue obviously. For me I've got barbecue chicken, I've got some oven roasted asparagus, some oven roasted leeks. If you have not tried oven roasted leeks before they are delicious you simply just chop them up put some seasoning on them, put them in the oven with your asparagus and they taste delicious. And I have some of the waffle cut butternut squash that I get from Asda. Um, it comes like this guys, I am not able to do this myself and I simply put that in the oven with the veggies. I have more of the butternut squash coming, it's just not ready yet. So that's dinner. Mm, I love chicken. Chicken is probably the reason I could not be a vegetarian. Sorry. So I'm gonna eat this jazz right now. And then, once Lex gets home, Love Island is on. And uh, I'm a Love Island addict. And I don't care if anyone judges me for it. So for dessert today, I'm gonna to be having, for a change, one of my Kvarg uh, vanilla yogurts. And today I am topping it with some of this. It's the max protein granola that I get from Muscle Food and it just gives that little bit of crunch. It's delicious. And as you can see, for people who are concerned about the environment, I store all of my cereals, etc. in these and all of the cardboard gets recycled. And the plastic. Everything gets recycled. So we are halfway through an epic Love Island and I'm going to say goodbye, farewell. See you next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz. Because Love Island is on and that is my priority right now. I'm just gonna have this chocolate. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them